Hey, Jay, it's Rick from uh, Talk Radio X and KJ. How's it going, bro? What's going on? How are you doing? Uh, checking in for our interview. Uh, you guys busy already? or What do you mean? Uh, busy <laughs> jamming? Or... Uh, no, I'm just chilling out, man. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that on this kind of day, right? Yep. So tell me a little bit about the evolution of pain. I had a chance to play you earlier. I heard a couple songs, and uh, not bad a sound there. I'm, I'm digging you guys. Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, no, you know, we're just a metal band out of Whipshaw. You know, uh, just uh, basically, you know, with the songwriting stuff, try to keep it real, sing about stuff I know, like a lot of other bands, and I sing about demons and dragons and stuff. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Nothing wrong with demons and dragons, right? Yeah, I mean, we you know, we sing about relationships and stuff like that, you know, try to say, keep it real. So uh, I, I noticed it says you guys got hip hop influences as well, some country, some pop, some punk. So you basically oh, yeah. you take a dart, throw it at something, and go, okay, let's try this. Well, it's just one of those things. You know, I'm one of those people that uh, I don't like to be told I can't do something. You know, I'm not going to be put in the box. You know, if I can fit a banjo into a song and make it work, I will. I like you already. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand it when people say you can't because that just makes me want to try harder, you know. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, one of the things I wrote a long time ago in our, our one of our original bios was that I feel like uh, we're that band that's in a room full of doors, and I'll be damned if you tell me I'm not going to go through one of them. If not, take you a know? sledgehammer and make a window. Well, I mean, there's too many people right now that are sounding exactly the same, you know. And my thing is. If, if you sound like Lamb of God and everybody else sounds like Lamb of God, why listen to anybody but Lamb of God? True you know, that. True it, that. It doesn't make sense. You know, people need to be original with their art. And if I can, you know, take take and make something original out of uh, a fusion, you know, then that's what I'm going to do. So how do you go about creating the sound that you that you guys do? Because, like you said, obviously, <laughs> if you want to listen to Lamb of God, you listen to Lamb of God. Uh, tell me how... It's a giant accident. <laughs> <laughs> It is, man. I mean, I can't sit there and say there's some secret formula. That's one of those things. But you know, we're a metal, band, a metal band because that's the way it comes out. You know, yeah. I've, I've listened to heavy metal almost my whole life. You know, um, my grandfather, though, was a country musician. Uh, yes, I grew up listening to a lot of country. Uh, my bass player's kind of leans more towards the country. It's kind of rednecky kind of thing. Uh, our guitars really into, like, the Deftones type sound. And our drummer plays everything from southern, you know, bluesy type metal to. I walked in the other day, jamming the Devil Driver and Machine Head, you know, and just, you know, somebody just says, "Hey, man, check this out," and we kind of see what it, you know, what goes with it, and just build from there. And it's, you know, there's no secret formula. It's just, like I said, it's just a giant accident. <laughs> So you guys currently signed to any label or just kind of winging it on your own for the moment? We're, we're, we're winging it. We are definitely shopping. We've uh, approached a couple labels and we, we don't got no, we haven't got, a, you know, the piss off, you know, <laughs> you know, but, you know, it, 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 we haven't had anybody be like, yeah, we'll give you this much money to do this yet. Uh, you know, it's one of those deals where we know what we need to get it done and uh, just waiting for that to happen, you know. We've done a lot by ourselves and you know, real proud of that. You know, it's 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 good to be able to to get and to be real. You know, really popular in the region, and uh, you know, not really had too much help. I mean, of course, there's venue owners and promoters who you know see something in us and they're like, hey, I think you'd be a really good fit for this show or blah blah blah. You know, I can't just miss that. But you know, we don't have you know corporate sponsorships or a record label backing us. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. I mean, I, I noticed some bands that I've interviewed have done better uh, on their own. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know a lot of guys that uh, come through. You know, because, of course, if we get a chance to talk to a touring band, you know, whether they're signed or not, I always want, you know, their viewpoint on it. You know, this is definitely, you know, what we're doing with our lives. And when we, you know, I, I want people's opinions. You know, so, so <laughs> hopefully if they've made mistakes, I don't want to make them. And I'll also see what works for them and see if they can work for me. Yeah, there you go there. Uh, I, I did hear it through the grapevine via Jiggy, um, who set me up with this interview with you guys. Mm -hmm. um, you guys got a, a concert or, or a festival coming up? Yeah, we're uh, doing Metal Fest on July 21st at the Lizard Lounge here in Wichita, Kansas. It's like 3000 South Greenwich Road. Um, it's 10 bands, 10 bucks. It's 
food, booze, and bands all day. Nothing wrong with that, right? Yeah, it's going to be a good show. Uh, we're co-headlining it with a band called King Shifter. They got they got more of that southern metal type sound to them. They're real good. Uh -huh. We've known those guys for a while. And, uh, yeah, there's, I have nothing bad to say about any band that's on the show. I mean, they're all excellent bands. And it's one of those things where the girls that put it together got lucky. You know, she got ten really good bands to get on the same show the same night. We didn't, none of us had anything else going on. And, you know, it was, it was like the perfect storm for the show. <laughs> Sounds like a plan there. And uh, you said it was ten bucks for ten bands. I mean, where where else can you go for that kind of value, man? Uh, n nobody, nowhere, really. I mean, plus, like I said, uh, you get, I think you get a hamburger or a hot dog or something like that. Yeah, I think you get your Twitch or something like that with uh, admission. They've got Gatorade they're hooking people up with. And, of course, there's the bar. You know, you can buy bar food. And there's you know, drink, some drink specials, I think, that I heard through the grapevine that it was like $4 Long Island iced teas and maybe something about Jello shots. <laughs> you know, something like that. <laughs> of course, neither one of those things. Neither one of those I drink. I'm a tequila drinker, so. I, I love how you said that, though. Maybe Jello shots. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do believe they said something about that. <laughs> so, yeah. So, uh, have you? Is this the, w one of the first fests you've ever done? Or I, I, I'm, I haven't really had a chance to catch up with with what you guys do. Uh, uh, how long have you been around? Uh, we've been <laughs> technically been a band for five years. Been doing shows for four. Um, this will be our second metal fest. Uh, we did a metal fest. Uh, actually, the second show we ever did. We played uh, it was Metal Fest 2 in 2008. <laughs> we played it. It was at uh, JC's House of Rock here, which saw. Um, it was a pretty decent show. Pretty decent show. That there, had been insane. Know, that was a different uh, different organization was running that Metal Fest. This, this is a brand new version of it, and uh, these girls have kind of brought it back. And uh, they've taken the original idea and just kind of tweaking it and making it a little bit better. No, no. Just, no Justin Bieber stuff, right? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, so, uh, not real friendly with that. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, uh, how many uh, discs have you guys got out so far? Uh, right now we've got, uh, if you want to include the original demo, which is a piece of crap. <laughs> I got <laughs> oh two, God. but we've got uh, our debut album, which is called Before We Die. Uh-huh. Uh, you can pick it up on iTunes or Amazon.com, Rhapsody, all that. Uh, we're, I'm real big at uh, promoting our Reverb Nation page. It's ReverbNation.com backslash The Evolution of Pain. Um, you can buy everything right there. Um, they've got, you can just download the MP3s or you can actually buy the album. They'll send it to you. Um, you know, and it, it, they got a good system going with uh, the Reverb Nation. That's uh, any musician that's. I think that's serious about what they're doing should definitely have a reverb page. Big on the social media, sounds like. Oh, yeah, dude. I mean, social media, I got people over seas that know who I am because of it. I, you know, that's stuff that wouldn't happen, you know, what, 10, 15 years ago. So I'm real big, you know, always, you know, when we started, it was MySpace, you know, and <laughs> I just... <laughs> I heard the hell out of MySpace, man. You know, we got any anything we could get recorded online, got people listen to it. Just hope that, you know, you had 100 friends that one of them paid attention, you know. And then the world switched over to Facebook. So, then we, you know, and then anytime, you know, I get a chance to find a new a new media site, you know, like a Jiggy was giving me hell because we're on Vampire Freaks. And I'm like, yeah, dude, we've been on that for like four or five years. I mean, we're heavy metal bands. It's a bunch of people who think they're vampires. Why not? You know? Yeah, no doubt. It makes sense. You know, the gothic culture. So, you know, in any place we can just get somebody to listen, man. Like, my thing is, I, I don't, like, look at the numbers and go, wow, that's amazing. You know, I I just want to believe that maybe for every hundred people, one person paid attention and we got a fan, you know? Yeah, nothing that, wrong with that. You know? I'm kind of, you know, that mentality, if I can build people, you know, our fan base person by person, then that's what I'll do. Sounds like a plan there. I mean, hey, I, as long as you don't put David Boy Must Die as your uh, autograph, right? <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, while we got you, um, 
Give us that uh, Reverb Nation address one more time. we got to get you some more people out that way. All right. It's uh, ReverbNation.com backslash or the forward slash. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the Evolution of Pain. And then we got our Facebook page. Uh, it's Facebook.com forward slash or backslash again. Uh, the Evolution of Pain Band. And, uh, you know, I do like to see the numbers go up on that stuff, man, because, you know, when people, unlike MySpace, where, you know, you could go through and add a bunch of people yourself, <laughs> it's nice to see the people actually add you, you know, on Facebook. they got to like you. <laughs> so that that is a little fair, you know. You see these ridiculous bands, you've got, like, 30 million fans, nobody's ever heard of them. <laughs> you know, on, on Facebook, you see the, you know, the real the realistic part of it, you know. Yeah, I heard so, that, and I, I just I just hit like. It's that simple, folks. So there you go. What's that? I just hit like myself. So I, I, there you go, folks. It's that easy. So appreciate it, man. <laughs> and uh, one more plug for your uh, festival out there, so we can uh, get more people your way. All right, it's uh, Metal Fest 2012. Um, it's uh, three thousand or three hundred South Greenwich Road, Wichita, Kansas, at the Lizard Lounge. Ten bands, ten bucks. You know, can't beat that. Food, booze, and music all day. Starts at, uh, doors open at 12. First man goes on at 12.45. Uh, tickets still on sale, or just come in and, and oh, yeah. grab a seat? Yeah, I mean, uh, you can, it's uh, at the door, you know, one of those deals. Um, you get a wristband as soon as you get in, uh, and you get a free pass for the day. Yeah, awesome so stuff it's, there. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Uh, yeah, like I said, the, the whole lineup's amazing. Uh, to get a chance to go check out, uh, you know, the events and I mean the flyers and all that. Check those bands out; they're all really good bands. It's like the best Wichita has to offer. So, so. Well, and that being said, about out of time. So, I just want to say thank you real quick to Jay Colombo, uh, Evolution of Pain. Go check them out. ReverbNation dot com. The Evolution of Pain. Good stuff. Go hit them up. Ten bucks, ten bands. You know it's a good value. Go check it. <laughs> 